Hello, Alehorn Army. I want to preface this video with a couple of things. Number one, I know how to smoke ribs. I've smoked ribs a lot. This video is about trying a recipe that was given uh, and put together by the manufacturer of my smoker, and I never tried it. So I'm going to break in with a little bit of narration here and there uh, as things start going down the tubes. Hey, Alehorn Army. Let's smoke some ribs. I'm sitting here at home and it's time to get my smoker going. Let me show you what I got. We'll put in a couple of racks and we'll uh, start having some fun. Okay, what I got here is a Green Mountain Grill, my little uh, portable Davy Crockett. And I've got it going. As you can see right down here, it's, it's prepping right now. So it's got to go through its prep before I can set the temperature and get the smoke going. Uh, this is actually a cu cool little grill because it's uh, Wi-Fi if you wanted to you just download the app and you can uh, put your meat in and you can drive away Go do something and uh, via phone you can uh, change temperatures do all sorts of stuff I'm not into that. I like to be here when I'm doing it, but it's an option. You notice right here. It's got a spot For an antenna a Wi-Fi antenna. There's a reason I don't have that My puppy chewed it off when I had it in the backyard. So, but this is uh, made to be brought out camping, tailgating, RVing, whatever. And you can see I run the cord right in to my truck. Now there's a reason I ran the cord into the truck because there is a converter uh, that you can convert it so you can plug it into the wall. Well, I bought one of those and it worked well for about a year. And it broke. So right now my converter doesn't work and this is the only way I can get it going. So anyway, in a few minutes, we're going to, uh, we're going to get going here with the, uh, with uh, putting uh, ribs in. I'll show you how I pre prep them. Uh, what I'm doing is kind of following an, uh, a sort of recipe that uh, the grill uh, manufacturers come up with. It's called a three, two, one ribs. Three. What the hell is a three, two, one. Three hours, two hours, one hour. This is ribs. They don't need to go six hours. You know better than that. What are you thinking? Then one hour pulled out and put back on the grill, uh, on the smoker, and uh, put a little barbecue sauce on it. Let that go for an hour. So it's going to take about six hours to do the ribs. So let's go prep. Well, now I'm preparing the ribs. So what I did first, pat it dry and I'm putting on so I can get the rub on I'm putting on some honey mustard uh, you can use any type of mustard if you want to use mustard you can use it without mustard I use the mustard just to make the rub stick that's it and now you get in there just gets get it all over a nice messy thing to do but it all is pretty good at the end I don't like smoking some ribs. And that's all you need to do on that. Just had to rinse off my hands a little bit. Next I'm gonna put in some put some rub on here. This rub is not a secret sauce or anything. I just don't want to buy the big big buck stuff, so I put it make it pretty simple. It's kosher salt, cracked black pepper. I got paprika and I also got some cayenne in there and I have garlic powder. That's it. So just tap it in there, make sure it's stained. I like a good coating of it. Especially on the meat side. This is the, the, the bone side. This is what I'm going to do next. I'm going to flip this over. And we'll get some on here too. Not gonna need quite as much here. Now I personally like cracked black pepper. So what I do, because my little pepper grinder that I use just for, for cooking doesn't grind very much, I tossed in about half a cup or so of peppercorns and I just hit it with a hammer in a Ziploc bag. It worked. 
yeah I probably probably not too many people are gonna that are uh, chefs are gonna do it that way but her but I don't care this is for me it's for fun right okay got the uh, got the smoker up to uh, temperature okay the recipe says 225 degrees for a total of six hours you've never smoked ribs at that temperature before you know it's got to be about 190 195 no hotter than that or they burn what is the guy with the recipe doing but what's worse what am I doing what an idiot now I'm gonna put them on first one I'm gonna put on is just a rib Okay, boy, that's long. Second one. This big old slab here, and a little extra here. I had to cut off because the wrong shape. I'm just going to put it there. Close it up. We now wait three hours. There we are, two hours in. Looking pretty good. Got to keep the smoke on it. You idiot! Look at those ribs. They are ready. Take them off. Now they're ready to go. You can put them in foil. Go! Okay. I'm just about to pull out all the, uh, uh, the ribs and all the pork from the smoker for the first three hours and they're gonna go in tin foil this is the recipe that the grill manufacturer had so I'm gonna put in a little brown sugar a little butter and they said add some honey to it I don't know how much but we'll see why are you putting sh brown sugar on this you know sugar burns you've tried it before it didn't work before it's not going to work this time don't be an idiot take those off and then they said just put a little bit of whatever you use as far as your uh, barbecue sauce put that in too and what i'm going to use is i'm going to try a little uh, a carolina style now carolina is uh, kind of a mustard based that I've found that I really enjoy. So I'm gonna give that a shot. Just put a little bit of this in here. We'll put more of this after, but don't have to go too too crazy on it yet, because we'll be putting more of this on for the last hour. But we'll do the next one over here. You can see what we got going. Let's put just a little bit of apple juice on this. Once again, close it up. Well, it's been two hours. Supposed to put it on a second, no, one more hour with a bunch of sauce on it. And I'm looking at it, and this is the wild boar, and that's just kind of falling apart because it doesn't have any bone. And I don't know. Following directions, I've got a rack of ribs here, it might be overcooked. Gonna... Epic fail. But that's okay. Tune in to the next video. I'm going to do something I know what to do. I'm going to pull out a roast out of the freezer, and we're going to cook a roast in a Dutch oven over coals. It's a lot of fun, and trust me, you can't screw it up. Have a great day, Elhorn Army.